Uh, I think two things. Uh, one is that we are finding that the customers are far more digitally savvy and uh, they are willing to uh, not just spend time online but also purchase online. So in our business, what we have changed is that from a physical retailer, we have evolved into being an omni-channel retailer now. And that's, the, that's fundamentally the, the one thing that has changed. Of course, keeping in line with that, we've become far more socially active and far more we are, we are trying to be far more relevant to the, to the customer. Uh, I think it will be propelled equally by both. I, I don't see the customer as favoring one versus the other as long as uh, the brands are queued in into you know, what the customer desires and are able to fulfill that need. Uh, I think brands that are able to do it better stand a better chance of staying relevant with the customer. It doesn't really matter whether they are national brands or international brands. So I, I, I don't really favor one versus the other. I honestly believe that uh, Indian brands have a better chance of doing that because they are far more clued in into what the customer really wants. I think that that could pretty much happen. We are already seeing that happen uh, with, with a couple of them, specifically the marketplaces that we have heard of opening physical stores or Lenscard opening physical stores, etc. So we, we've seen a couple of them taking uh, steps in that direction. So that could pretty much be a possibility. Well, uh, definitely potential in the geography that one is targeting to expand in. Within that geography, the, lo the location and in retail, we always say that location is the singular most important factor uh, that leads to you know a business becoming successful or not. So uh, the location within the geography, uh, and of course, and the kind of property that you have. So very very fundamental things is what you look at. So if there is a particular property in a particular area, is it suitable for the business? Does that area offer the kind of potential that you so seek? Does it have the kind of consumers that you so seek to attract for your business? and so on and so forth. So very, very fundamental things and I don't think those are going away anywhere. Of course, one of the other aspects that becomes increasingly important for physical stores is the availability of parking. That's the only thing which I would say, uh, you know, apart from all the other factors that I have mentioned. The changing and the evolving consumer, uh, that, that's the first and biggest trend and, and uh, that's something that we as retailers, we as businesses have to tap into. We have to be aware of, we have to keep pace with it. That's the single most important thing. Uh, businesses can no longer have the luxury of saying I operate in X channel or I operate in Y channel because the customer is there everywhere and, and therefore businesses need to evolve to cater to all the channels equally well. The third trend that we've been observing, again keeping in line with how the customer is behaving, is the uh, is the importance is the growing importance of let's say the social the social platforms the facebooks and the twitters and the instagrams of the world uh, the customer is on those platforms so those become not just mediums to reach out to the customers they can in some sense also uh, uh, start taking a larger proportion of your overall marketing spend very tough but very exciting <laughs>